Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, the booster course pass. Today, we are taking a look at the second cup in the wave four of this DLC. This one, of course, is going to be the Boomerang Cup. We'll get started at 150cc, and I figured we would play as Bowser this time, who is right over here. So we'll pick up Bowser a little bit. We'll see what kind of cart we want to use for him. I think we got to use the Bone Rattle, right? That's a pretty fitting one. Um, is there any kind of cool tires that would go well with this? I like the big tires for him. That's definitely something to consider. Uh, you know what? Unless we have, oh, but those look so good. So I'll go with that. We'll get the Bowser Kite. We're all Bowsered out. Let's try the Boomerang Cup, which has Bangkok Rush, Mario Circuit, Waluigi Stadium, and Singapore Speedway. Let's get going. All right, so our first track is the Bangkok Rush from Mario Kart Tour. This looks so cool. So this is, I think, the capital of Thailand, which is really nice to see. Oh man, I like the details on this one already. This is another track I've never seen before. I didn't play this one in Mario Kart Tour, I don't believe. I love the big elephant statues to the side. We're starting with Bowser here. <laughs> My start was a little slow. I'm not usually used to playing heavier characters like this, but we'll give it our best shot and we'll see if we get some wins in today's episode. But whoa, we're starting over this like sort of shallow ri river with these boats and stuff. This is so cool. All right, let's drift through this as much as we can. Ow, the green shell gets me, of course. Not good. Uh, come on, let's try to catch up a little bit, but I just love, you know, city themed courses. Oh, I think I could go up there, up on the, um, sort of the tents. Okay, let's get the Piranha Plant nice and ready. I can catch up with these guys a little bit, right? Okay, I almost got Luigi there. But if we just keep going. Ooh, gotta take a left here. And I think yeah, we're, we're finishing up our first lap. I'll throw some bananas out and we'll keep moving. I think I could cut across here. Oh, I could. That's nice, that's nice. That's a nice little corner cut to keep in mind. Mario is right behind us, but I think we can keep up for now. But now we're going down this sort of Town Square, there's an inn to our left. This is so cool. Now we're going through like a big garden. We're flying above the bridges. This is so many details of these city tracks. I don't think we've really gone down this road just yet. Oh, there's crabs in the street. Not good. Oh, that was another one of those corner cuts. I love that big statue there. Sort of hard to make up the details as I'm racing by real quick, but it looks super cool. All right, go. Sort of recognizing more of these streets as we race through them multiple times. We're getting a good lead in front of everybody. I want to keep that as we head into this, looks like a, a parking garage entrance. There we go, we made our way through that super duper well. And now we're on the top of the tents. Oh, this is so cool. Whoa. Oh, the blue shell's coming for me. Can I get up there? Whoa, hold on. I want to get up the stairs. Okay, that didn't hit me, which is good. Yeah, I guess we can just go up this way instead. This is so neat. I guess we still have a little bit more before the, the race ends. And I guess we could have gone under it as well. So we'll have to try a different pathway there, pathways there for sure. But can I stay in the lead for long enough? No, you're kidding me. That is baloney. We still get second place, but right at the last possible moment, we got hit by a red shell. So not so good. It's okay, we'll bounce back in these upcoming races, but that was a really great start for sure. All right, next up is a classic, in my opinion, Mario Circuit from Mario Kart DS. Like I said last episode, we just finished playing our series on Mario Kart DS, so this is pretty fitting. And it is looking so gorgeous. This was a really cool track in, in Mario Kart DS, so to see it here, this is great. This is one of my favorite iterations of Mario Circuit, with all the Goombas walking around. And just seeing like the updated music from Mario Kart DS is so good too. Oh, I love it. The Piranha Plants are spitting fireballs out, so I'll have to dodge some of those. The track definitely feels wider here than it did in the original game. Oh man, we're getting hit by a lot of stuff. But I'm just gonna toss a couple of those forward, throw that red shell out, and we'll knock each out of the way. That's good. Whoa, this looks way different. There's a sleeping wig layer over there too. This is so cute. Way more details. You can see Peach's castle in the distance. This is gorgeous. Okay, so um, I think I might just yeah, knock out Mario with that. And I have a red shell just for myself as we go through lap number two here. This is a shorter track, which most of the Mario Kart DS tracks are, but 
it is just so cool to see another Mario Kart DS track make its way over to Mario Kart 8. I don't know how many DS courses are left that haven't been, you know, remade in some way, either between this game and Mario Kart 7, but... Mario is right behind us, so I gotta be careful here, but if I start drifting just like this... I love this little horror section, because that is definitely way different than the original. Alright. I do have this bob I'm just gonna try to hit Mario with it. I got him! Okay, that's good. We're just gonna drift through this one. Real good like that. Should get the, the purple drift, yeah. As we head into our last lap, I'm going to try to get as far out as possible. Oh, but here comes the blue shell already. You're kidding me. Come on, come on. Yeah, I didn't get anything to do with that. Unfortunate, but not too much I can do about it. Luigi is gonna catch up to me this time. And Mario used, oh my gosh, a mushroom across the shortcut there. This could be bad. Let's see if I get anything good. Maybe a mushroom, just a green shell, and I really need more. Oh, the Wiggler's walking around! That's so cool, but you gotta watch out for it. He's taking a little stroll. That's adorable. I'm gonna jump through here. Okay, mushroom time just to get a little bit farther out ahead, so if I don't get hit by any items, I think we could take the win here. Come on, come on. That's it. Come on, we got it. No one's gonna steal our win this time. We get a first place finish. That'll help out a ton. So we should be tied in points. Oh no, we're not. Okay, so we're in the lead. That's pretty cool. So Peach, Mario, and Luigi are not too far behind. Oh, so next up we have Waluigi Stadium from of course Mario Kart Double Dash. This is another super iconic one. Probably the most famous course out of this cup. I guess we'll see. Yeah, this is one that was, I don't know if it's really been in too many Mario Kart games since Double Dash, but it's sort of similar to Wario Stadium, but you know, Waluigi instead. And it's this bunch of mud and stuff, you know, fireballs and piranha plants attacking us. It's a pretty intense one, but hopefully we can get through it pretty well. We got the super launchers up there, which is interesting, because I definitely, they, I don't think those were there in the GameCube version. Interesting, I wonder if this was on the Wii. Come on, let's keep drifting. And so it's such a huge and muddy track. Oh wow, the Prada plant placements are different, right? Oh no, here they are. Okay, maybe I'm just misremembering. Yeah, there's giant metal Prada plant cutouts that try to attack you. Oh, it looks like there was an upper path somehow. So I'll have to try to get up to that. For right now, just more items, please. I already got hit by something there. This part of the course is really tough. Oh, I knocked the tires over. Let's watch out for all that. Jump through here, Waluigi Stadium. Very cool, and there's a huge crowd cheering us on. Okay, I wanna jump off of that, there we go. I do have a bob -um. I might just put that behind me right now. I don't know if it hit anybody. But, get a little bit farther out here. I guess if we had like a mushroom or something, we could skip through that big mud spot, but I don't. See, how do I get up to that upper shortcut? I think what I need to do, it's a little crazy, but yeah, I go up here, I take, hey, watch it. This jump, oh, that was cool, actually. Okay, there we go. I don't know if that actually saved me any time, because Peach is still in front of me. This one is really tough so far, especially with this cart that I got going on here. Come on, gotcha. I think. Jump through all that, watch out for the green shell. Oh man, almost got me. Ah, it, it, that actually got me, that is insane. We we're finally starting to get a bit out ahead. And they hit me with the very lucky green shell. That was probably the last bounce I could take too. Luigi using the mushroom through the shortcuts. It's crazy that the computers, they'll, they'll use the shortcuts to corner cuts in this game, you know? Okay, come on. I'll try taking this upper path again. I don't know if I'll get it. Ah, oh, darn. That's okay. I still got pretty fast through that, so. I can just do all that. I know this ritual might be coming for me. Ah, oh, and there's not much I could do about it. You gotta be kidding me. Every time we get a chance to get out ahead here, we get knocked down by something. And now there's a banana. Just couldn't have responded to that in time. I guess I might just get a bad finish here, because we're coming up on the finish line. Ah, oh, darn. So unfortunate, but there's a fifth place finish. I think we'll be okay as long as we can bounce back from here. We're at 35 points, we're in second place. So I'll have to get a really good score next race. 
All right, so our final course here in the Boomerang Cup is the Singapore Speedway. And this is looking so cool. It's nighttime, the whole city is shining and all lit up. I like it. Okay, whoa, the map for this one is super complicated. So this might be another one where there's a bunch of shortcuts to discover. It'll take us a good couple of races to really figure this one out. But, oh, the music is great too. Very cool piano. Whoa, we're going through a big cannon. All right, see ya. Whoa, we're going on top of the buildings. This is amazing. The nightlife here is awesome. Go. We're gliding all the way back down. We can go through these rings. This already might be one of the coolest city tracks, and we're not even halfway through the first lap. Okay, so I got this fire flower. I want to use it against Peach, but just at the right time. One of those, yeah, has got to hit her. I didn't mean to use that, but. It's fine, oh no, now she has one. Oh no, ooh, gotta be careful. Maybe it wasn't her that had one. Somebody definitely did. Oh, now we're going through here. Oh, this looks so cool. Got the little food carts and everything. Oh no, I thought I could make that drift a bit better. I could not. All right, well every time I get out ahead, they find a way to catch up to me, but. There's a lot of pressure for me to get first place here, because I don't know if we'll be able to win even with first place. Each might just have too many more points than we do. But I guess we'll see soon enough. If she gets a bad finish, oh no, I gotta get up here. Ooh, that was close. There we go. Come on, as we head into our last lap here, it looks way different than the other two. This is crazy, a blue shell's coming in. I need to make sure it doesn't hit me. Okay, it's not gonna get me, it's gonna get Mario. Perfect. Drifting through this as much as I can, but don't hit the wall, come on. Got it. Drifting up here, doing plenty of tricks and stuff. I guess I could maybe, ah, I couldn't get those boosts soon enough. Okay, but I got something from it. Where am I going right now? Not into the Goombas, not into the Goombas. Okay, Peach is right behind me. I need to be able to hit her with this. I missed her entirely, oh my goodness. What do I get, what do I get? Okay, you know what, I can definitely hit Peach with that, right? I think I did, I hit somebody with it. I don't think it was Peach. She is so right behind me. Oh my gosh, come on. I think we're gonna be able to win, but if she gets second place, it might not be enough. I can't believe I just couldn't hit her there with the bob on. Ah, oh, so yeah, she beats us by one point. That's super unfortunate, so I'll have to take a silver trophy this time. I'll have to replay it at some point so that we can get a better trophy than that, but. I'll save that for later. Very unfortunate that we couldn't win this one, but you know, I, I tried to do what I could. I mean, that's just sort of the nature of Mario Kart. Sometimes you just get pelted by items and the, you just can't get the win. So we still did good. We won most of the races. It was just that second one went really bad. But we've collected 3,100 coins. So we get a new vehicle customization unlocked. We'll see that in just a moment as we get suited up for mirror mode in the Boomerang Cup. So we're hopping back into it with mirror mode. This time, uh, I'll see what our stats are, but we do get a new cart. It's going to be, ooh, the Prancer. But if I take a look right now, if we go back to, um, what cart was I using before? It was this one. We have really high weight. Is there anything that could maybe total down our weight a little bit? I mean, there's this, but it's also, I think, about the same. So, hmm. I don't know if I want to do anything else too much. I want to do something that still sort of fits Bowser, but but I guess we'll just stick with this one. It shouldn't be too big of a deal. I feel like it wasn't really our racing that got sort of caught up there. It was just some unluckiness with items, so I think if we can start our Grand Prix with this, hopefully we can get a win. All right, so the Boomerang Cup Tour, Bangkok Rush, let's go for it. So this was a very cool track before, very positive impression, but we got to sort of flip all that in our memory so that we can actually go the correct direction. I feel like this one was a little bit more difficult to follow than the other city track that we have in this cup. Okay, that time I did not get too much of a speed boost. But I'll grab this and we'll get going. I'm trying to yeah, make my jumps off of these boats this time. I sort of missed the most of them before, but it's pretty cool to jump off of them like that. There we go. I'll toss this over. I'm trying to catch up to Luigi right now, but everybody else is sort of in the way. Come on, oh yeah, I wanna go up here this time. I missed my chance before the first race. I'll definitely just be taking whatever opportunity I can to check out shortcuts this time. 
got it. Okay. Oh no, oh no. Just gotta make sure I don't run into anybody. But, try to put the bob on down, then I run straight into a wall, so that really didn't help me. It feels like there's a lot of ways, you know, cut corners and find different stuff. Okay, right here. Ah, oh, darn. Okay, I did not take that turn very well. This is not going super well so far. This car isn't the fastest, uh, as I'm sure you've noticed, which we can use our way to our advantage sometimes, but not the easiest thing to do. If I could just throw a couple of these out that way and maybe hit Mario with them, they don't quite go far enough. I can't see anything because of this blooper. But I can at least get an item there and hope that I'm flying in the right direction. Got the, the red shell now. I'm gonna just hit Mario with it now. Oh, but Luigi taking a bit of a lead there. It looked like he might have taken a shortcut. It was hard to tell. Okay, this time we can take the corner cut, though. The computers always use your blue shell blaster when they're not really supposed to. Oh, no, come on. Every single time I get even slightly ahead, there's somebody waiting with an item for me. It's crazy. Really difficult so far. Now, oh, come on, I'm not even ahead this time. Is this really this one's gonna be like today? A blue shell's coming in to even the odds a little bit, smacking down on Wario, but Luigi takes the lead with that one. Okay, come on. Ah, whatever, whatever. Oh, but we're on top of the tents, but I fall through, so I haven't gone down here last time. I wish I could sort of see and enjoy it more, but there's a blooper in the way. I could have taken the path up there. I want to try the slower path this time. And just a banana. When I really need an item that'll catch me up, I just feel like we've had that unfortunate but very common brand of Mario Kart luck. I might be able to yeah, just barely steal second place there, but geez, what was any of that? Getting that banana in third place when there's just so much more I could have gotten to catch up feels pretty silly, but it's not a bad placement. Hopefully next race goes better. Okay, so next up is Mario Circuit. This is definitely my favorite course out of the cup, I think. So hopefully we can, you know, use my familiarity with it to catch up a bit. And I've always been a fan of the circuit type course. It's not just my nostalgia for Mario Kart DS yes, that is feeling this to be my favorite. I just, you know, these kind of courses usually have turns that I like to drift around on a lot. So yeah, let's get rid of Bowser Jr. there. Don't want to hit the fireball. Oh boy. I'll just be doing everything I can to, you know, sort of maneuver around a bit better. Yeah, you know, as we're racing through this, I, I've been meaning to talk a little bit about the fact that, uh, you know, we've seen that Birdo was added with this wave. It's the first wave of Booster Course Pass to actually have a new character with it. But in the character selection screen, you can see now there's five empty slots for new characters. And that really has my mind racing with what it could possibly be. What other characters could we see in future waves? I'd love to hear your guesses for things. I mean, I feel like there's so many potential characters. Um, I feel like the most hopeful character I could ever ask for, for Mario Kart 8, and I mentioned it before, for sure. Oh no, you know what, there's a blue shell coming. I might want to just slow down and let Luigi get in the first, just like that. There we go. Maybe I'll let too many people get ahead though. I mean, they all sort of got hit by it, so. Just use that to get ahead. But my biggest hope for a character in Mario Kart has always been Kirby. I just think it would be so cool if Kirby was added to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So maybe, I don't know if it would happen, but Here's hoping, right? That's my big dream character that's not very likely, but a zebra can dream, right? So on top of that, I mean, there's plenty of other things, especially with like Mario Odyssey being considered. I would love to see Pauline. I would love to see the Brutals or even just Cappy would be really fun. I don't know, got it? But I don't know if it would be the Brutals because there's, what is there, three different, or four different Brutals, right? So I guess if it was Pauline and the four Brutals, that would sort of add a... But I'm not sure if they'll add the Brutals. So they haven't added the Brutals to anything since Mario Odyssey launched, like not even any of the sports games. I could definitely see Pauline being a very likely one. It would be interesting to see characters like Kamek be added because, are we gonna win this? I think we will. So there we go, get a first place finish there. We'll keep talking about the characters next race, but that was pretty good. We're, we're tied in points with Luigi, so if I could just win the next two, easier said than done, we'll be able to catch up and win our gold trophy this time. All right, so next up, Waluigi Stadium. I feel like as I was saying before, one cool character I think would be fun to add to Mario Kart is Kamek. I don't think Kamek's ever been 
in a Mario Kart game before. Maybe Mario Kart Wii? I might be misremembering. But I know that he's been close to being added to multiple of them. I think he was a scrapped character in Mario Kart 64. So just, you know, things like that would be really cool to see Kamek make his way finally into Mario Kart. Go. Go ahead and, oh man, that didn't hit them. I don't know, that one was a little silly. But it's all right, we'll just try to catch him. Stay ahead of Luigi. We cannot let Luigi beat us this race. We're tied in points with them, so if we could just win this, would be fine. He didn't get an item that time. And the uh, shortcut's on the left. You're kidding me, that was so baloney. Okay, he's gonna try to take the shortcut there, but I'm still able to hit him with the red shell. Wario, get out of here. Jeez. Dude, there's so many older Mario Kart characters that you know haven't made the way into Mario Kart 8 that would be cool to see. Uh, I think you know things, even some more of the obscure ones. You know, like I've been talking a lot about Mario Kart DS. You know, Rob the robot would be really cool to see. All right, gonna jump through this. Very focused in on trying to keep up in front of the competition. I think I'm just gonna hold this banana because I have a feeling if I don't, I'm gonna hit, get hit by a shell. Ah, oh, they used a shortcut there. It's Bowser Jr. again. Better than Luigi, I suppose. I'd still rather just be getting first here. Okay, I don't know how I didn't get a drift boost there, but I'm up here. I don't know if this is actually any faster. It doesn't really feel it. I might not be taking it super well. I know I'm not taking the super jumps much of the time, but I feel like they just take too much time up in the air. Somebody is ahead of us still, it's Bowser Jr. So if I just get up this way, we head into our final lap. There we go. Get another mushroom. I need to save this for a good corner cut somewhere. I definitely think we need to change our card up to something lighter though, before we do 200 CC. Here we go, here we go. Got it? And with that, I'll be able to steal first place, but can I keep it is the big question. Yeah, I'll try to go up here this time. I mean, maybe this is faster. Maybe I should have just been doing this from the beginning. Yeah, okay, that actually felt a lot faster. All right, lesson learned. There we go, yeah, that's felt a lot better. Oh, now we're super in the lead. So I guess I should have just been doing that all along for this track. That's okay, because we get the win here. Pretty good finish. So we just need to win one more race. We're guaranteed this golden trophy. We are a decent chunk of points ahead of Luigi now, because he fell back into fourth that time. All right, not bad. All right then, so uh, let's go for it. We got our final race here with mirror mode. I love this one so much. I mean, I like the Mario Kart DS and Mario Circuit, but this one also comes as a close contention for my favorite course in this cup, just because, oh man, it's just so pretty. So many vibrant colors. It really takes you on an adventure through the city. It's definitely so far my favorite city course, my Mario Kart Tour original. All right, let's get over here, jump through like that. I've got to take some of these shortcuts if better. I like that the little football course down there too, the football field. Let's see if I can line up this bob on throw. Ready, right there. Nah, uh, not really. Well, it's gonna hit somebody, <laughs> sort of. So we're behind Bowser Jr. again here. We were able to pass him eventually last straight. So here's hoping we can do the same here. We don't wanna go straight through this. All right, all right, got it. pretty good too. So now we're in the lead. We use that slipstream pretty well. That's a big Ferris wheel in the distance too. There's so much going on in the city. I love the rainbow fountains. I didn't get hit by anything there, so that's nice. We're already in the second lap. It is a bit of a faster track and not too much to do about this one. Okay, at least we didn't fall off. Come on, come on. Here's where we can catch up a little bit. Because they're trying to close in on us. We could just stay ahead, stay on the, the green path here. The music almost reminds me of like Sonic. 
Okay, there we go, there we go. Big drift over this way, boost up like this. Now this is where I got a little messed up before. I think I need to hit this, fly up here. Come on, that wasn't too bad. I think I gotta fly this way now. Okay, we're super in the lead right now, I think. Just a little bit more left to go. Maybe not super in the lead, but well enough that I think we can win this. Got it. And, ooh. Not too bad. How much more of this track is left? This little, last little stretch. Thanks for that. Last lap is definitely way longer than the first two, but it's well worth it because we get another win. So. Three wins in this cup is enough for us to get the gold trophy for sure. Okay, so once again, a really intense cup. The competition has been rough this entire episode, but this time at least we were able to get our golden trophy that we worked well and hard for. So let's go and see it right away. As you can see right here, congratulations. You get two stars too, which honestly feels pretty good compared to a silver trophy, getting gold trophy and two golden stars, pretty nice. So. With that done, we have one more version of this cup to do, and of course, that is going to be 200 CC. So let's go check that out right now. We'll choose Bowser again, but I do wanna change the cards up a little bit. Just something that might have better handling for me would be way more preferred. So I'm not gonna to care too much if it doesn't actually fit Bowser's, Bowser's aesthetic too much. Obviously, some things are gonna be limited by his character type, but you know, th there could be even still something like the Streetle that might be better. You know, yeah, let's go for this one. And then this helps balance things out a lot more, our, our carts like, our cart pieces like this. So we'll go to the tiny tires and, uh, hmm. I think it, it doesn't really matter too much. We'll just go with the base version. That seems pretty good. Let's do Boomerang Cup at 200cc. All right, so our first one, Bangkok Rush. This one might be a bit more difficult at 200. I thought those turns and stuff are gonna be hard to keep up with, but that's why I'm glad we changed the cart so it's at least a little bit better to handle. This one is so much more tame compared to the big engines we were riding with before, but oh man, is it fast. Okay, and I'm bumping into stuff straight away. Got it? Oh no. There we go. Maybe not the best line to take through it, but as long as I'm not bouncing into the wall, I know there's a way to get up to that bridge, but once again, it's hard to make those turns at this speed with this many people trying to take us out. Okay, so I got the red shell. We stole first place with that fire flower too, so that was really good. Okay, got it. Cool. Now we're building up a bit of a lead. Oh, these guys might hit me. They didn't, luckily, but ah, oh, I get stuck in the corner there. That's not what I wanted at all. Okay, hit him again. There we go, just to really make sure I can get back out ahead of him. Here we go, here's our chance as we're going into the third lap already. Oh man, oh man, just barely dodged disaster there. That was actually a really good turn though. I'm happy with that. We did a good job. Then I'll just take the lower path here. I think it's safer, and sometimes you just gotta go for safety. I know this blue shell is gonna get me in a moment, but, oh, oh, the red shell actually. Okay, that might be preferred. Don't you steal this from me, don't do it! Oh man, the, almost the same thing that happened at 150, where we got hit by the red shell by Luigi right at the finish line, but this time, history ends in our favor. That's great. Okay, so now we're back to Mario Circuit. This one I think will be the easiest to do at 200 CC. But I guess we'll see in just a moment. These are also just my favorite visually. It's just, it's green, it's bright, it's sunny. It's a lot of fun. Okay, I'm just gonna hit Luigi with this one and then we're just gonna focus on riding these turns as well as I can. Hopefully we can get out really far ahead. Oh, I'm gonna jump here, didn't quite work. Okay. Got it. Really got to use our brake at times. Luigi getting out ahead of me without too much of an issue, though. Computers can catch up super easily in this game. I really need more coins, too. No way. What was that banana throw? That was an expert throw. Oh my gosh. Not good. 
try to get out here as soon as I can now. Alright. And... Ooh. Not the best turn, but you know what? There's a blue shell coming anyway, so you know what? You can stay ahead of me, Luigi, just for a moment as we head into the third lap. Why did you have to cut in front of me? Why did you have to do that? He's immediately just back out, too. That is crazy. That is definitely the computer sort of getting an advantage. Just know you can get back to that level of speed that quickly. Okay, making a pretty good drift there. I have this blaster. If the worst is to happen, hopefully we can just blast anybody who tries to pass us. No, we're fine. All right, got it. And that's not even Luigi, it's baby Luigi, so that's gonna mean that I guess Luigi's gonna fall back farther in points. Okay, well he was never really too much of a contender here, it seems. All right then, so we're doing fine. Let's try race number three. All right, so now we have Waluigi Stadium up next. Looking good. This one might be tough though. The more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm like, oh no. It'd be cool if they added Waluigi's um, construction vehicle car from Mario Kart DS. I see like a big version of it over there in the corner. That was one of my favorite carts in that game. Because it's such a weird outlandish concept for it, but oh no, not going so well. Honestly, a lot of those Mario Kart DS carts are really cool. I would like to see them in this game. It would be cool if they did add some different car customizations. Now that they're adding characters and stuff too, it just makes me wonder what else we could end up seeing. Maybe like more battle mode courses or something, you know? The sky really feels like the limit now. Okay, got it. Really go a little bit crazy here. I couldn't quite get up to that one. I don't know if I've really gotten up, up there at that point too much. Yeah, I don't think so. Hard to tell. We got through the first lap. Sounds like there's a red shell coming for me. It's hard to tell. Oh my goodness, this is such a mess. Oh no, no, no. Come on, every time I get ahead a little bit. Can you guys stop it? This is ridiculous. Got it, all right. I will just head up here. Get something like that. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. You are kidding me right now. This is a total mess. So like, yeah, we've been up there, but I don't think we've gone to this shortcut up here. So I wanna try this one. Yeah, I definitely haven't. Whoa, okay. So I guess I missed something. Oh, and that actually gets me into gliding, too. Whoa, okay. So we're learning something new here. That's at least something. Or we're walking away with something even if we don't win. I can't tell where I'm going at the moment. Sometimes the camera goes a little bit crazy with those spots. But we're in the lead. We have a green shell. It's something. Enough to maybe keep me nice and protected. And then if we wanna try it again, I don't know if we'll reach it, we won't, darn. It's a guy, it's a guy. Cause we actually have a decent lead right now. So I'll throw my item and boom, we got it. Okay, that means we only have one course left. We're doing pretty good at 200 right now. I thought it might have, might have ended up being more of a disaster, but so far, three wins in a row. All right, our final race of the day, Singapore, Singapore Speedway at 200cc. Let's go for it. This one's gonna be fun with this extra speed. All right. Got it. And let's get going. I think I wanna start drifting from here. I think I can make it, there we go, that was good. Put the banana right in front of everybody. This music is just, makes it all feel like a big party. And that's cool. But they're getting out ahead of me here. Can I get a red shell? I do get a red shell, but Link has a uh, green shell right now, so I don't wanna throw it just yet. There we go, but now I'm in the lead, so I guess I'll just hold on to it. Okay, you know what, there you go. That should get you pretty good. I definitely need to build up more coins. Oh man, that is not what I wanted to do at all. Come on, come on. Uh oh, is there a blue shell coming? Of course there is. That's not good, uh, very unfortunate. Honestly, they didn't get too far out ahead, so I should be okay. Come on, Luigi, are you serious? 
Well, never mind, I guess. I can't see anything right now either. This is ridiculous. Oh my gosh, we're back in seventh. I don't have too much time here to catch up either. We're going into the third lap in just a few moments. Right here. Okay, I don't know if I can hit my own. Oh, I can hit my own fireballs. That's really silly. But I guess it makes sense. Ooh. That wasn't so bad. I'm really starting to build some momentum, actually. But that didn't work at all. Okay. That was weird. And I also, what is happening? I don't know, it just, that was very bizarre. I don't have too much time left here. But that was a really good turn with the slipstream. Ah, darn. Speed boost again. I might not be able to catch Link in time, but I'm really trying. I thought it would be a right turn. It's left. Oh, that's not gonna hit him. That's fine. A second place finish is still enough for us to get the golden trophy for sure, but if we could have gotten the win, it would have been three stars as well, so definitely hurts to see that a bit. It's okay, though. We'll get through it. It was still fun, for sure. Just such a pain that it ended up that way. Okay, so our third race through the Boo Ryan Cup was one of the more successful ones, for sure. Only suffering a single second place finish. Everything else was first, so we got through with extra speed and everything. And yeah, definitely, this is a really fun cup. I think I like the Fruit Cup a bit better, but I would love to hear, you know, out of these two, which do you enjoy out of Wave for a bit more? And on top of that, what is your favorite course out of the Boomerang Cup? So yeah, I'd love to hear all about that. For me, it definitely still has to be the Mario Circuit for Mario Kart DS. It's just really cool, really fun, but can't wait for Wave 5. Hopefully it brings some new characters again. I, I feel like it has to with this character slot, so I guess I'll have to wait and see. But in the meantime, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, the booster course pass. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.